Let's get you started with Emulate. Inside the Emulate folder, you will find an installer. Make sure Final Cut Pro is closed before you click on Install. Then double click the installer, click on Continue, and if you see this screen here, don't change the install location, just click on Install. After that, a warning will pop up that will say we want to access data from other apps. This is to be expected because we are installing something into the folders that Final Cut Pro manages. If you do not click on Allow, Emulate will not work. So click on Allow and here we go. Scenario 1. All of the footage in your timeline is from the same camera. In your project, go to the beginning and press Alt or Option A. If this shortcut doesn't work, go to Edit and select Add Adjustment Clip. Then stretch the adjustment clip over the duration of your entire timeline. Go into Effects and look for Emulate. Then apply this look development preset to the adjustment clip we just added to our timeline. Go to the Look Designer and select your camera. In my case, this entire timeline consists of Sony footage, so I go into Emulate Camera, look for Sony, and SLOG3 SCAMA3.CINE. Now we want to add this grading and match preset to one of our clips. Then we select the clip and press Command C. Then we select all of our other clips and press Command Shift V. Now we want to paste all of the attributes. You can see this preset at the clip level gave us a bunch of adjustments and also emulate camera. At the clip level, we want to ignore emulate camera and leave this set to none. Because since all of the footage in our timeline is from the same camera, we already chose the correct camera profile in the emulate look designer. Scenario 2. Working with mixed footage from different cameras. In a project like this, you still want to add an adjustment clip by pressing Alt or Option A, or go into Edit and select Add Adjustment Clip. Then again, we want to stretch it over the entire timeline. Next, we apply the look development preset to the entire timeline again. But this time, we don't set the camera inside the look designer. We now go to the grading preset and apply this to one clip. Then again, we press Command C, select all of the other clips in our timeline and press Command Shift V to paste all of the attributes. Now, before we do anything else, we need to go through our clips one by one and select the correct camera. So this clip comes from a Sony camera, I go into Emulate Camera, select Sony, SLOG3, SCAMA3.CINE. The next clip in my studio comes also from a Sony camera, so again, Emulate Camera, Sony, SLOG3, SCAMA3.CINE. The next clip comes from an ARRI, so we go into Emulate Camera, look for ARRI and apply the correct profile here. The last clip comes from a Blackmagic camera, so we go into Emulate Camera one last time, go in here, look for Blackmagic and apply the correct preset. Now, back at our timeline level, it is very important that you leave the Emulate Camera section inside the Look Designer set to None, because we already set the correct profile at the clip level here, here, here and here. In both scenarios, our timeline is now color managed, so it's time to get creative. First, I go into the look designer to emulate look and start with a neutral look, like 16 mil. Next, we need to go through all of the individual clips and set the exposure. Here, I go into the clip and pull the exposure down, something like that. Next, my studio shot, so I go into the exposure adjustment on this clip, pull that down as well. On the next clip, I think I want to boost the exposure up a bit, but I only want to do this with my highlights. So I push the highlights up and my shadows down and maybe the midtones up just to increase the contrast a bit more. Moving on to my last clip, I would just go into the exposure and contrast adjustment and pull things down just a touch. Once the exposure for all the clips in our timeline makes sense, it's time to audition some looks. To do that, I go to the adjustment clip and inside the look designer. As you can see, it doesn't matter which look I choose, whether it is something very low contrast like Eterna or something very high contrast like the Fincher look, for example, my exposure stays exactly where it is. We end up with wildly different images, but my exposure stays exactly where I set it. In the look designer, we can fine tune our look. So I want to reduce the contrast a smidge and I also want to go for a smoother highlight roll off. So I go into film compression and turn that up quite a bit. Let's have a look at another shot. This one, for example. If you want to preview your changes, you can toggle each section of the look designer independently. This is the image without film compression and this is the image with film compression. Or let's take a look at this shot. This is the image without film compression. This is the image with film compression. I finish things off by going into the blue module, change the preset to one fourth to make the highlights bleed a bit more. 
then we will change the halation presets to something like bold. So we get this nice warm glow around the highlights that you can see here, for example. And now I also want to introduce some more grain into the highlights. I think something like this looks fantastic. And just like that, here we are with a fully developed look. As you can see, we just scratched the surface. Our full tutorial includes everything you need to know about Emulate in Final Cut Pro and also how you can install Emulate onto your camera so you can see the final image already when you're shooting it. So watch this full tutorial next to get the most out of Emulate.